Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is something that I really like, really, really good and honestly this is something which is not too heavy to carry out and a big camp knife, very big chopper knife. Let's look at the Sakura Blade Nemoto design. I'm not sure what is the name, but that's a SKD-11 Japanese laminated steel. So let's look at what we have here. Let's start by the shape of the blade. That's a big chopper. Looks like a competition chopper. Uh, and you can see immediately that you have these laminated marks here. And you can see here, this is a wheel laminated steel. I'm not sure if you see it properly, but you can see that there is a steel in the middle, in sandwich between two other steel. Here you see it well. You see? That's a proper laminated steel. You can see there is one, one layer in the middle. And so I think this one is harder. Usually you have the other one here and the other one on the side. And so the other one is the edge of the blade. You have a very comfortable but simple handle. I wish they, they could have put a bit of liner or something, but whatever, that, that's G10 handle. Uh, very grippy actually, uh, like that. Not too, it's pretty slimy, honestly, like compared to another handle. It's really worn, really slim. All the, the, the edge of the knives have been uh, Soften so you don't feel anything. It's super comfortable here too. You will not like use a fire style Fire steel on that. Sorry. You can't because it's super like softed but uh, And here too, it's super comfortable. You have a nice finger churl, which is uh, Actually very comfortable. The finger churl is 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 really done on purpose and 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 that's one of the most comfortable I have because you can really get a very nice you know if you take it this way this way this way and you and you take it like that i think you can work a lot and you can get a very nice grip it's not moving at all it's super comfortable lanyard all here otherwise no uh, school crusher nothing just something to shop and look at the edge of the knife which is finishing like that so that's a kind of parang or whatever they call that a shopper or parang or parang probably parang blade but very nice i mean very good looking nice g10 uh, army green color yeah, yeah. Not, not too much to say. Lanyard all here too. So let's look at the sheath now. The sheath is a uh, wheel laser uh, um, materials out. It looks like a bit what they do now in Miller Bros, whatever, plenty of people, but it's it's a pretty good quality stuff. Uh, this is a Kydex, but in terms of carbon fiber pattern. Um, so a bit fancy still, but very, very nice. Very thick material, very strong material. The retention, it's very good, no play at all. Right, what, what you hear is the is the the, 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 the during attachment, but otherwise you have no play. If I take everything I can, it's not moving at all. It's very nice, it's not gonna fall. And it's, here you have a turn ramp, you can easily take it off. So yeah, nice uh, bed loop attachment. With two pressure, well securing, a thick laser again. So yeah, pretty pretty happy of the of the quality of the stuff. And I really like that that stuff. Really like it. So let's look at the specs now. We have a blade which is 22 uh, 21.6 exactly. 21.6 blade to the under 25. Overall it's 37.3 centimeters. So 37 centimeters. The thickness of that baby is, I think it should be five. Yeah, 5.5. So you see uh, that, that that's cool because usually in such big blades, you you don't have, uh, you, have you have big, 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 it's it's very thick. I like this because this is quite, not too too heavy. This is really something you can carry in a car bar if you go in forest or whatever. Look, the, the weight is, 561 grams and if you put the sheath on the top it's gonna be yeah 780 yeah, so you have a very efficient stuff for yeah less than 800 grams which is good and, and that stuff honestly that it's cutting wood like crazy it's pretty pretty wide you can see that you have a blade which is yeah almost five centimeters long so with almost cyber grind almost flat flat grind here and from here to here, this is completely flat grind. There is a very secondary, but very, very thin secondary edge. You can see it's very well made, a very thin secondary edge. 
you can see it here. But otherwise, it's, it's almost a competition shopper which is finishing like that. So, yeah, that, that, that I will not beat something too, too hard with it here. And that's a good steel. SKD11 is very nice uh, steel. I really like it and I like the effect they can do on that steel. So, yeah, you let me know what you think about that stuff. But, but my side, I really like that baby. Honestly, that's a very good looking one. Very good one. Apparently, they have made very few. So I was lucky to get one. And I paid that from memory, uh, something like 120, something like that. It was not cheap, but, but it's a very good quality. So the vendor told me, yeah, it's a very good quality one. You, you should take it. It's, it's a nice one. I was hesitating between that one and uh, another parang, which is the, the um, what do you call that? A pull force, the, the, the Rambo version in black. I've done one with a, with a blade, like, and he told me this one is better. So I took this one, which was approximately the same price, and I'm super satisfied because it's a super good looking knife. That's all for today. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Have fun.